thanks to you in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. For today's meditation, Galatians chapter 4, verse 7. Galatians chapter 4, verse 7. Therefore, you are no longer a slave, but a son. And if a son, then an heir of God through Christ. I read it again. Therefore, you are no longer a slave, but a son. And if a son, then an heir of God through Christ. Yes, God says you are no longer. God gives always a new beginning in our life. No more, no longer. Yes, my friend, today there is a new start for you in your life. Jesus always gives a new start. Whenever Jesus healed the people, whenever Jesus touched people and people were healed, he said no more sin and Jesus gave them a new beginning in their lives. Even today, God can bring a new beginning in your life. Maybe you're going through so much of terrible times in your life. But let me tell you, He is Alpha and Omega. He is the beginning and the end. Yes, He can start something new in your life. He can put an end something that is old in your life. Something that has been disturbing your life too much. He can put an end to it. He can bring forth new things in your life and He can bless you. Yes, today, this God is faithful to give you a new start. What all changes? There are three things I want to talk to you this morning. Number one, Isaiah chapter 30 verse 19, it says like this. For the people shall dwell in Zion at Jerusalem. You shall weep no more. He will be very gracious to you at the sound of your cry. When he hears it, he will answer you. He will be gracious to you. You will weep no more. The word of the Lord says, you will weep no more. Yes, my friend. He will wipe away your tears. You will weep no more. We read about Hannah in the Bible. Yes, she was troubled much because of her barrenness. She went to the house of the Lord. She went inside the temple of God and she prayed and she cried before God. Experience a, a different experience is crying in the presence of God than crying before somebody in this world. You cry to people of this world, they will never understand your tears. They will never know the value of your tears. But you cry in the presence of God, God can understand what of your every drop of tear that comes from your eyes. She cried in the presence of God. Praise be to God. That was the end to her tears. That was the end to all her cry. God put a full stop for her tears and when she went back home the word of the Lord says she was no more sad she was so joyful she was so happy her matters have not come to pass she has not given birth to a child but still she was happy because she has cried before God today my friend let your tears before God allow your tears to be shed before God and not before any man sure God will wipe away your tears and give you a new start you will cry you will weep no more Number two is Galatians chapter 4 verse 7. Let's hear Galatians chapter 4 verse 7. It says like this. Therefore you are no longer a slave but a son. And if a son then a heir of God through Christ. No more a slave. First no more weeping. Second no more a slave. God gives us a greater privilege and that is we are called children of God. We become son and son and daughter to him. We are child of God. Let me tell you, my friend, this younger son, the prodigal son who went away, who was on his way and who shelled out all the money that he had and lost everything in life, finally came and he sat with the pigs to take care of the pigs. But now he decided to go back to his father because he knew that if I will cry to any man in this world, they will not understand my tears. I need to be crying all my life. But if I will go back to my father's house, my father will put an end to my tears and he will give me a new life. So he went back to his father. And when he went back to his father, he said, let me be one of the servant in your house. For the father said, you have come back to me. You are no more a servant. You are my child. Today, let us first cry to God. Let us first weep and cry our tears to God. Number two, let us repent to God. Let us come back to God. God says, you will be 
my child and he gives us that privilege you are no more a slave number three is from isaiah chapter 33 verse 19 it says like this you will not see a first people a people of obscure speech beyond the prescription of a stammering tongue that you cannot understand the word of the Lord says, you will not see your enemy again. You will not see that Egyptian. No more you will see that Egyptian. Yes, my friend, all you and I have to do is be like King Ezekiel. King Ezekiel went to the house of the Lord and prayed before God. He prayed to God. Praise the Lord. God did not allow Ezekiel to see his enemies. God shattered the enemies. God killed the enemies with an angel. Today, the same God is alive. He will not allow you to see your enemies three things number one shed your tears before God number two repent to God number three always request and pray to God alone God will wipe away your tears no more weeping no more slavery no more seeing your enemy God will bless you shall we pray father we thank you for this word help us to live this world word in our life Bless your people and strengthen your people, God. Let your hand be upon them. Lord, help them to bring their tears before you. Help them to repent before you. Help them, Lord, to pray before you so that their tears will be wiped away and they will weep no more. That they will be no slaves anymore, but they will be children of God. And they will no more see their enemies, but see victory in their life. Bless your people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. May God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.